All right, what's happening, everybody? I'm back. Got a little video here I want to throw out. So I made one the other day, but I didn't post it. So I'm just going to kind of talk about some of that information that I was talking about in that previous video. Um, one of the things I was talking about was a, a lotion warmer. My lather machines have gone kaput, and I can't find one. I've been looking for the wall latherizer machine. Nobody has them in stock. If you find one, they're about $80 overpriced. So hopefully they'll get some in. I've contacted Wall. They are on back order. Don't know when they'll be in. Apparently it's hard to source parts. Um, I don't know. So that's where we are with that, unfortunately. Things have been crazy busy at the shop here. Lots going on. We're trying to get somebody hired. Give me one second. I'm back. Had somebody. It didn't work out for their, you know, their personal reasons, what have you. They had a lot going on. So, you know, things happen, man. Life happens. So, back here trying to get somebody in the shop hired full-time. Or, I mean, heck, we can take part-time right now. But, we'll talk to you about scissors for a little bit. Um, basically, I'm just going to, so I, I've gotten a couple new pair of scissors recently. And I don't really like to talk about scissors a lot because it's very subjective. We'll talk about this too before I put it away. It's, it's kind of like handguns. You have to go out and try them and see how they fit and feel in your hand before you can make a decision. I mean, what I like, you may not like, what have you. That being said, I guess you can discuss quality. And that's what I'm going to talk about. So I contacted somebody and asked the question I don't even like to ask is, Hey, what do you recommend? Um, dollar for dollar, I had a barber recommend to me Yoi Chopper, Y-O-I Chopper. And this is it here in my hand. And I will say dollar for dollar, just under or just over the 200 mark to, I, if I, don't quote me on that, go to Yoi Scissors, um, Google the Yoi Chopper, Y-O-I. They're out of the UK somewhere. Prices on there, <clears throat> getting as bad as Reggie with not remembering prices. Um, but I mean, it wasn't cheap by any means, but it wasn't bad. Now, scissors to me are, are kind of interesting because a lot of times the first day I get them, I'm like, I don't know if I like these things, but after I use them, they get kind of broken in feeling and I'm like, you know, I like them. All right, so fast forward looking around and I find a lot of videos for a company called Fresh. This is them right here, okay? Well, it looks weird on there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> first got them, I was like, and eh, they kind of feel crispy, crunchy-like. But after I use them, I'm like, man, I really like them. Now, I've had both of these on the counter, kind of get mixed up, and I've kept finding I, I reach for these a little bit more. Reason being, these are a little bit lighter weight, I, I think, and I really like this piece back here. I tend to do that a lot with some stuff, especially, you know, later in the day, help with fatigue and everything else. Not to take anything away from these, but I feel these are a tad bit lighter. These are probably going to retain the edge a little bit better because it's a higher quality steel. These are probably a 440A or something like that, but whatever. Now, talk to you about Fresh Scissor Company. Um, all those shears are about $100 to $105. It cost me about 45 bucks for somebody that I know and like to sharpen the shears. I can send those in to Fresh with $50 and get a brand new pair. And I could change it up. If I want to change it to something else, I just tell them, hey, send me this scissor or whatever, you know, and we'll go from there. So really liking it. Uh, let's see. All right. The heat stroke. Got sent this, um, had some things going on. They sent me this and try it out. I like it. I don't like the battery life. Um, I don't like how long it takes to charge. It takes a minute to charge up. <clears throat> I've used this twice today, two or three times, that's it. And we are on, so what I don't like is how long it takes to turn, oh my gosh, it's dead. Okay, it's completely dead. It won't even turn on now. I'm holding that down. See, it just blinks. 
it will not turn on. All right, well, that's unfortunate. It works pretty well. Um, almost like to it. Like I was playing around with my wife's hair and flattening out a piece, and her hair was so hot to the touch. But on beards and stuff, it's pretty cool because you're not going to follow through with your fingers or anything like that. So I like the tool. Don't care for the battery life. Um, and I don't, you know, I've got a cheap $12 one that stays plugged in or that you plug in. And I feel like it heats up even more quickly than that one. So <clears throat> um, it works well, but at this point in time, at 80 bucks retail, I'm, I couldn't suggest it. Honestly, I couldn't. All right. So what else to talk about, man? You guys know I, I, I give you my honest opinion. I have nothing vested anywhere. You know, even if somebody did send me free stuff or, you know, pay me for something, an opinion, I'm going to give my honest opinion. That's where I've been from the beginning and where I will continue to be. All right. Wall Disruptor. Went to the class in Atlanta, Georgia this past weekend. Really good class. Um, one of the first things I noticed walking in, walking around, was everybody there, you know, part of Wall, was super cool. Um, they really like made you feel welcome. There was no elitism. There was no stu uh, snootiness or anything like that. Just really like welcome with open arms. Um, really great vibe. Really and really good information. Uh, great class. Highly recommend. Would do again a hundred times over. So, part of the Disruptor tour, you get a clipper. The Disruptor clipper. It's basically a magic clip. All right, I do want to get the legend coming out. I've, I've seen it, played with it a little bit there and everything. Um, I do like the legend. Didn't really get to cut with it. Just kind of saw, you know, how it works and watching it work. Yeah, you can kind of get a little bit of idea from that. But this, so I had this there. And also, it, I, I took my travel kit with me, which in it is a magic clip. But there's a guy there, he's like, why did you change out the blade on your magic clip? I said, well, I don't know. I think because I just had an extra ceramic blade lying around is why I did. But then after using this for a couple of days, I remember why I did. I don't like the crunch blade. The sound of it irks me. It literally sounds like it's crunching. It's like you're taking, instead of a nice little slice, you get which is good for not having a, a straight line, but I personally don't think it's necessary. Um, it's supposed to be good for you know smooth transitions and blends. I mean, learn how to work the clipper, you know, find other techniques, whatever. If you like it, great. I don't like that blade. Um, I'm not a big fan of the clipper. It, it's got some good power at first, but Here it changes pitch. I've never understood why wall clippers do that. It's like it changes gears, or RPMs, whenever you change the, you know, move the blade up and down. It could be some reason behind it, whatever. To me, it sounds like a cheap clipper. You know, I. I don't know. I don't know. Um. I will probably change the blade on it or whatever. And when you're cutting a lot of times, it's like, it almost sounds like it's about to die out, but it doesn't. But it has a pretty decent feel. I mean, definitely a leader in the, the game. Been around since 1919. So many other people copy them. You know, they definitely have set the standard on things. So, hey, you know, what's to be mad out? Uh, I, all this, this probably will not be my go-to clipper. I want to try it out. It did come with premium guards, which is really interesting. Two interesting things about this clipper. Came with everything but a five and a seven. It came with a two number ones. I don't know why. A lot of people lose a number one or something. I mean, so I like the premium guards better because they fit better. Uh, they've got a you know a more snug fit. Could we color code them? Sure, you know. I don't know. What was I going to tell you? I'm reaching over here looking for something. Oh, that's it. Yes. Where is the... All right. 
here's what I will tell you. It's a new charger. This will not fit your old magic clip. It fits in here and it fits the charging base. Now I don't know if the charging base fits the old charger. I have no idea. I can tell you this does not fit my older magic clip. That's all I can tell you. It does not fit my uh, other barber's older magic clip. Um, or something different with the grooves or whatever. That's probably a better charger by design. It's, it's more stiff. It goes in there. Holds in there pretty well. But that's it. So I was telling you about the... I can get it over here. So this is the, uh, it's the lotion warmer by Conair. And we have put shave gel in there. So the shave gel comes out nice and warm. Press down. And that's it. It's good. It's worked pretty well. But, you know, we got it to try it out. See how it would work. And it's worked pretty brilliantly. So that's it. It's been a long day. Very long week. I'm out of here. All right, so I want to do a quick update on the wall disruptor clipper. Um, I switched out the blade, or the cutting blade. It's no longer the magic clip blade, which is a stagger too, because it's right here, here everywhere. I should clean before I make a video. I'm not real thrilled with it. Just it, it kind of doesn't cut real smoothly like I want it to. Um, there's other clippers I have that work better. So, you're not a deal breaker. Well, I don't know. I probably won't really use it a whole lot, to be honest. It looks good, but I don't like how the power RPM seem to go up and down like I talked about on another video. Um, it'll probably go to the drawer or go to like a home kit or something like that, you know, um, that I won't use a whole lot for day-to-day -day use. Probably not going to be using it, unfortunately, because it's a beautiful clipper. I mean, I love the blue accents on it. Look really cool, but it just doesn't feel that good. I'm trying to see if it has where it's made. I don't see anything, but I don't know. I might try one more blade or something, but so far, that's where we are. Thanks.